this is the end of the day, but I'm doing the introduction now because we got a pretty fun day. So, we're going to do a little jig fishing. We're going to do a little jiggy head fishing. We're going to check out some new equipment that just showed up in the mail. And I'm going to give you all some good and some bad reviews on some of it. So, uh, stick around. I think you're going to really enjoy this one. Pretty good jig fish, but I just broke my little rod that Omega sent me. Kind of sucks, but it's all it is. Two and a half. Two and, yeah, two and, two and a half, two and three quarters. Sure enough, busted that rod, though. Paya! Breaking rods, but... Guys, tremendous road noise obviously on the highway there, so I'm going to do a lot of voiceover on this video. But you know, I broke that little Omega rod, I've got three of those, and you know, my experience has been so I've had that rod a long time, and my experience has been this rod, like most others, when I break them, it's usually because I've whacked them on something. If you crack them, they're done. So I would, I would say to you, not a sponsor, they're not a sponsor of any kind for me, but I would not hesitate to buy one of their rods or, and I will continue using their other rods. One of my favorite crankbait rods is a rod I got from them. And so it just happens sometimes, right? The rods just break sometimes. So this is a second key for the morning. And as you're going to see, it just keeps getting better and better. This is about, I might've been here 15 minutes right now and uh, pitching a jig and I'll talk more about that jig here in, uh, in a few minutes. That didn't take long. That was uh, two minutes and two seconds later. Two minutes and two seconds later. Let's see what that one weighs. Three seven. Three seven. Nice fish. You can see, still real early here, guys. I'm going to put a link in top of the page right there if your device allows it. If not, there'll be a link down below as well. My Tuesday video is actually one of the most interesting videos I've done for me in a while where I learned about fluorocarbon storage. And then another thing was really interesting to me was the difference between four strand and eight strand braid and when you might use one over the other. So I'm going to put a link in there. The way I put that video out on YouTube, basically nobody saw that video. For some reason I screwed it up and I don't know how to fix it. So I want to make sure you guys are aware that video is out there. Again, it's, it's one of the ones I found more interesting personally. And usually if I find them interesting, it seems like you guys find them interesting as well. So uh, a link at the top there, and then there'll be a link at the bottom as well if your device doesn't let you click on the little uh, eye up there top right. So this is now keeper number three, and like I said, it just keeps getting better. Three. 
the solid, solid fumes. I may have to voice over this, but what I did was I basically turned around and cranked back through that section where I had those two bites. Didn't get big cranking, so I turned around and I picked up a real finesse, the actual zoom finesse. And that's that little swing head, six cent swing head. On my new loose mock rod, I love this rod. Jig today. Boop. So once the sun gets up, that jig bite really died on me, but I want to share with you, um, I thought I had some finesse jigs with me, and I didn't. Matter of fact, the only thing I had was one ounce football jigs or swim jigs, and I thought, you know, I'll watch other guys on YouTube. Josh Jones seems to approve that that divine uh, braid swim jig, it's a good fish here, uh, is a really solid uh, jig just to fish in open water. So. I tied it on and unbelievably, I never lost it. It did not get hung up in the rocks at all. And so I'm gonna experiment with it more as kind of a rock jig. I, I really was impressed. By the way, this is actually the new XD series. This is the 8XD cranking rod. And I just wanted a rod, I picked it up. It had 15 pound line on, it's a brand new rod to me. I gotta tell you, I talked about this in a short the other day. This is a fine light line, light tackle. It's a, it's a medium heavy rod. It's seven, basically seven and a half feet long uh, with an extra fast tip on it. I can see this being a great, uh, you know, Cinco rod, stuff like little worms, uh, obviously uh, bait cast and shaky head where you're throwing lighter line, you want a long rod, uh, but you need some play in that rod. I really was impressed and I love the feel. I love that full handle, that full wind grip handle on it. So you'll see me using this rod quite a bit more in the future. And uh, this is a dandy right here, boys. Better than Andy. That's really funny. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but I downsized my bait just trying to get a bite. And I got a bite. It's going to six.
609. So this is fortunately just a highlight reel. Uh, I probably caught another 10 or 12 fish. I think when I went back through my footage, I had maybe 22 fish I caught through the day. Uh, it, but later in the day, I really settled down and I was going back and forth. Really did not seem to matter whether I was throwing the Zoom Finesse Worm or the uh, Shaky Head, uh, Divine Shaky Head Worm from Six Cents. This fish right here is gonna cull out a 2.8. So uh, we're going to improve the stringer here, uh, gosh, but more than another pound. You know, and I, I really tried to reflect. This is my second trip out there uh, in the last couple of weeks. Two changes. One was time of day, obviously. Uh, all this activity happened, you know, early in the day. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gone by 11.45 this day. And then the other thing is I downsized my line. I was throwing this thing on 20-pound line the other day when I caught all those smaller fish. And today I put it on 15 pound in Vizex. Uh, and I threw the jig a little bit, which I didn't that last time out. And that seemed to be the difference. After I caught that one, I looked down on the deck and I saw something and I picked it up. And it's not real hard to figure out why these fish are eating those basically four and five inch long shaky head worms. Uh, this, this shad right here, somebody had barfed up when it come aboard. And you can see uh, it's about, you know, it's a small bait, but that's what they were munching on. And that's why they were on those rocks. All right, it's the end of the day. I got no more. I've used up all my SD cards. But I threw this thing up on the rocks. And I got a bite and I missed the fish and I started reeling it out. And I looked down and this fish followed it up. And I just dropped the bait. And look at this thing right here. Fish till noon today, and it is 11:59. That's that little swing head hook from Six Cents. So that's another nice call. 4:02. That's two four pounders and a six pounders, 14 and. Three and a half, 17 and a half, 21, 22 pounds. I'll total it up at the end of the day. Fun, fun day. Fish from 6.45 till noon. Thank you, Lord, that was fun. So that's a wrap, guys. That's, you know, five hours of fishing on a lake right here next to Dallas, Texas. Gets a fair amount of pressure, and it was a good time. Reminder, the uh, the fluorocarbon video, there's a link above, there's a link below you can click on too. It's one of my favorite videos I've done recently, and if you check it out, I think you enjoy it. For some reason, it didn't get uh, really published properly when we put it out on Tuesday. So check that video out if you haven't seen it. If not, we'll have more stuff for you guys on Tuesday next week. Thanks, guys.